Meow. Me and Kitty Cat are out for a walk on a nice Sunday afternoon. It's actually stopped raining, but it's going to keep raining. And then we'll be going home. So we're going to use this opportunity to get some gas. And I have to go to the ATM and put a couple of checks in. Which I've been waiting about three weeks to do. Anyway, this is a nice walk, so we will partially take you along it. Do you like this walk? I do. Do you like being videoed? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's some very expensive housing here. There's a lot of trail systems all over the area we're in, and this is one. And we haven't been to one for ages, too long. But uh, let's have a look what it says. There you go. So the white blaze on the trees for the Oakville's trail, uh, so you can follow it that way, or you can walk around this way. We know this area very, very well. Um, which way are we going to go, left or right? So we're going to go left. All right, see you in a bit. I'm going to take a risk and say this is beach. Um, this is actually very, very good fire tinder. I think it is beach, I can't remember. I'm sure I got it wrong. On with the walk. Another good natural tinders this time of year is this stuff. Burns really, really well. Of course, the absolute mother of tinders is birch. Even soaking wet, this stuff is a great natural tinder. And I use that as a base. All right, down the hill, kitty. Kitty's going down the hill, look at her go. Kitty thinks this is pretty. Kitty's right. It's so nice at this time of year to actually get out after the snow has been making this sort of thing not really accessible. Unless you've got snowshoes or skis on. Kind of talking about fire starting today. Should have brought some fire starting stuff. Even in very, very wet conditions, uh, deadfall that's not directly on the ground, crack it open, break it open, you'll get some dry bits. This is completely not dry because it's directly on the ground. And pine. So this is actually bone dry, whereas that's wet because it's been further down. So go for the height, use your knife, get in there. You'll get dry wood inside. Now you might be wondering where the dogs are. Well, Bear's on his bed sleeping and Becky's just having a little doze downstairs. They like the little walks, they're like 20 minutes to 40 minutes maximum and they go very very slowly. So my back's a bit sore and so is Kitty's and we decided we needed to have some actual exercise which sadly we don't get with our dogs do we? Not so much. So we're out and about. So we'll probably do about four maybe five kilometers, two and a half three miles and uh, at a much faster pace than when we have the bull terriers. Oh, with all the rain we've had lately and the snow we had this year, there is quite a lot of mud. And vehicles that you see are actually from the council, the Forestry Management Committee. And they come in and they remove trees and stuff like that. And where they have obvious bogs, they do things like this. Which is very nice of them. Uh -huh. It always goes underwater, right? Let's see how Kitty's going to do it. Don't fall in, kitty! Ah, uh, clever. So only 35 minutes, so about two and a half kilometers. And we're back where we started. Very nice walk. We did see two couples out there. Of course, they were together, but not quite together. So we had to get off the path, uh, which was no big deal. So, a safe and fun walk in nature. And thankfully, this remains open. So we haven't updated the car for a bit. We actually finally got the stuff from Japan after what, seven month delay? A long time. Long time. So we got three additionals. Obviously we got the roof racks. So they can come in useful. We're thinking of getting them removed in the fall and put back on in the spring, but we didn't get around to it this year for obvious reasons. And we've also put in a couple of little mud flaps 
because I wanted them. And in the back, what do we have in the back? There'll be a short delay. In the back, we got a rubber cargo mat, which I think was a smart move. Yeah, so now we have to go do our errands. Oh, Becky gets a biscuit. Mr. Bear wants a biscuit. Oh, oh, oh. It's a biscuit. Oh, stops again. Finally, she gets the biscuit. So we've slowly made the way down the street, and now we're in the park. And I'm just going to wander along with the terriers, and I want to show you some of the COVID-19 things. So one of the two softball pitches, they put the little gate there and they put a nice happy little sign on. So this is the signs that we've ended up with, but they actually have changed them a bit. So you'll see the different signs in the park. Becky's still attempting to get biscuits. That's what she does the whole walk. She wants her biscuits. Bit of a shame, um, but they did this very early on. This is like the first notice they put up, appealing to our good natures. Closed even to bull terriers, Mr. Bear. Should we go and see if Mommy will give us a biscuit? Hmm? There's another mission now. It's because you're too slow. And they also closed this down. This is the Major League softball pitch. Put the wiring up, put a little notice up. Closed. 750 Canadian, fine for ignoring it. Kind of a shame. But at least they haven't actually blocked entrances to the parks. I did notice on the walk we did this morning that it was open for us with, you know, the notices, you know, don't bend too close, people keep dogs on leash. But I did notice some of the other park uh, forested areas actually were closed. So I think it depends on the single trail. I think they closed them all, which is a pity. Um, wouldn't stop me going on them. I just wouldn't bother interacting with anybody. Oh, oh, oh. This has been a slow moving Hungry Cherry production 2020.